Hey guys, hey. welcome back to our channel. We are doing a video today for you guys on the first week at Georgia College because we are officially seniors. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we graduate in December, so we thought maybe we could share some of our memories. <laughs> from the first week at Georgia College. And move-in. And move-in, especially. Since move-in, I think, is... Right around the corner. Yeah, right around the corner. I think move-in, like, the 8th, if I'm correct. So yeah. here are some of the top, I guess, maybe, like, list of things that we think you should know before you move in and have your first week at Georgia College. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we thought that you should know before you move in is that you move in on a Friday usually, and that means that you got a whole weekend of welcoming. Yes, you heard that right. You have your whole weekend planned out by GC when you move in, which sounds super fun and super overwhelming, and is all, all of that. <laughs> so when you move in, usually you don't have to worry about bringing your stuff up because you get there and they very quickly take your hand, guide you into the dorm rooms, and before you know it, the cat crew, which are a bunch of volunteers, oh, they're, awesome. they're amazing. They bring up everything up to your room, which I was on the fourth floor, so I was very thankful for that. Mm -hmm. You move in, you get all your stuff in there, and suddenly you have probably like six Loctite bins if you're a girl. Um, I mean, I guess some guys bring a lot of stuff, but usually it's the girls who have like the six or seven bins. Um, and don't be overwhelmed with how much stuff you're bringing. I always thought I was bringing way too much. I did. I did but too. <laughs> nobody judges you like you think they're going to judge you. I yeah. thought I was going to bring in my six bins and we'd be like, um, send her back. <laughs> so, with that being said, you go in, you get your stuff all set up, and you think it's going to be perfect. It's and not. the news question <laughs> is going to take a little bit. And that's my first bit of advice for you as incoming freshmen is to realize quickly that your room is not going to be perfect. And yes, there's gonna be that handful full of girls or guys on Instagram, mostly girls who take pictures of their dorm room and it looks spectacular. But what you don't see is behind the camera, they have their bins like <laughs> stacked up and their parents are sweating out of sweat <laughs> of putting up thumbtacks for them <laughs> and having your dad run to Walmart eight times. Oh, and let me tell you, that Millersville Walmart is out of stock moving weekend. Oh, it's If you bad. need, like, command hooks or anything, bring them ahead of time, because that's gone. <laughs> you will think that, <laughs> you'll think that you can go to Walmart and grab one of those door mirrors and you'll be nope. fine. Bring it beforehand or wait a week, and just be okay and ready that it's not going to be perfect when oh, you first yeah. move in. Okay, so, next thing, once you're moved in, is saying goodbye to your family, um, your mom, your dad, your relatives, whoever, you, whoever you're with, whoever you call family. Um, it's going to be, for some people, it's very easy. For some people, it's very hard. I know for me, it was really hard because, um, like a lot of you, it's your first time living away from home. Um, but I just want, we want to let you know that it's, like very, it's very normal. Like Everyone's going through that and feeling it. And don't feel like you're too old to miss your mom and dad. Like It's literally probably your first time being away from them. And also, Georgia College, in the parents' orientation, they tell the parents not to uh, call you for, like, the first however many days or, like, week. And so I called my mom, and I was actually kind of sad. I was like, Mom, like, do not love me. And she was like, no, they, like, told us not to call you. So you can just call your parents. And if they're not calling you, it's not because they don't love you. It's probably because Georgia College told them that. <laughs> and the reason Georgia College does that is because they do have a whole weekend of welcome set out which we'll go over in a second 
and the weekend of welcome can be very overwhelming for students because it's a constant like um, go, go 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 mentality and I think they fixed it just a little bit but it's still pretty intense especially since it's your first week so since that's going on they don't want you to feel like you're missing your mom be on the phone with your mom and not be able to be fully invested right. in getting and they think that it helps you adapt more but honestly it can be very hard especially for parents for parents and children who are, have that very close bond. You can even just send them a quick text. Yeah, just know? send them a quick text, call your parents, and like, even if you don't miss your parents, call your parents, because it's worth it. Next is meeting your roommate. Yeah. <laughs> everyone, this is the one everyone, I feel like everyone gets nervous about. This was something that was the most anxiety producing for me. So, I don't know if you're in it, but there is a group chat usually on group me i don't know if it's every year but or i know Instagram that, yeah something. there's usually a group chat Snapchat. or instagram but when you're in there a lot of people find their roommates in there and they request their roommates and that's how i found my roommate although i didn't talk to her or meet her really beforehand we had like what kind of temperature you like it and stuff that wasn't like exactly like amazing to know beforehand like Yes, it's great knowing what temperature your roommate keeps it at. But make sure you re you ask the real deep questions. I met my roommate through the random uh, roommate assignment, uh, which I'm sure a lot of you have filled out, where you basically just put your basic preferences, like how hot or cold you like it, how late you stay up. Um, I met, I got randomly matched through there. And um, shout out Ridgely if you're watching this. <laughs> I literally could not have got a better roommate um, for my freshman year. I was extremely lucky. And we actually met up once before um, school started at the mall, which was really nice to like kind of break the ice, get to know each other. Um, but it was awesome. My sweet mates were uh, very nice too. But yeah, it was just a great experience. So you never know going in. Uh, the random roommate assignment can actually be like great. Yeah, and you never know how close you like you live to your roommate. She right. lived extremely close to her roommate, so they were able to meet up at the mall. Oh, like I lived like within 20 minutes of my roommate as well because you know we're all com coming from Georgia, mm -hmm. so it's well, really most, of, most yeah. of us. So it's really cool to be able to, like, be like oh I went to this high school. Oh I went to this high school. Yeah. My high school played yours in football, or things like that. Or oh you like to hang out with them all Georgia. That was my spot I frequented mm -hmm. and stuff like that. But I didn't know my roommate really beforehand. So I walked in and it looked like a Pinterest board. I walked in there. I'm like man my room is gonna look great and. We were just very different people. And it was great getting to know her because she had all of her high school friends that I got to meet. And I went into college pretty much instantly having a lot of friends because of her. And although they didn't stick, all of them didn't stick, I was able to make other friends. But it was great being able to make friends through your roommate. And I think that's a really yeah. important thing to know is that you can, I don't want to say use your roommate, but your roommate is a networking source for you to be able to make more friends and just have some people that may not remember you from the first week. I don't remember how people I talked to in the first week because nobody knows you and everybody's right. a stranger unless like those few people from high school that you might know. So like it was wonderful having a roommate and being able to meet her th like meet her and see her friends and have my sweet mates and go out with them. Um, oh what's a sweet mate? Oh a sweet mate yes what's a sweet mate? So at Georgia College you have two people in one room, a bathroom, and then two people in the other room. And those people that are connected by your bathroom, they're called suite mates. And sometimes you'll be closer with your suite mate than your roommate. And it's kind of just like that. Having a roommate, it can be awkward at first, but just break the ice. Remember that if they have high school friends, go make friends with their high school friends. You might meet somebody really cool. Um, and just get yeah. out there. And they're your roommate. You're going to spend a lot of time with them. So a lot of time. make some friends with them and just get out of your comfort zone and yes you might not always have the greatest roommate situation and like my heart goes out to the people who do not have the best roommate situations everybody has that horror story from their roommate and there's always things you can do if that happens talk yeah. to your CA talk to there's a lot of resources for that yeah. but in the first week don't be anxious about your roommate because you guys are both in the same position just trying to meet people just get out of your comfort work comfort zone go to the max go to the weekend welcome activities and have a blast. All right, so the biggest thing that you experience when you first move in is the weekend of welcome. Now these past few years, it hasn't been the same because of COVID, but my year, it looked a little bit like this. You got to school and you got about like four or five hours to move in based on what your move-in time was. And I felt like I didn't even get to say goodbye to my parents because they were rushing yeah. up the door to the first thing. Literally. Which I hope that they changed because I did not really get to say goodbye to my mom. Um, but obviously, 
that's yeah, okay. Like, You're just, gonna see her again, yeah. but it was a little rough. But regardless of that, we were like trying to rush the Centennial Center, and they gave us a bunch of food, merch, and they put us into like a bunch of activities. And then we would go to the intramural fields and kind of all over campus, go to front campus. They did this thing that they don't do anymore called GC Gives, where we did a service project, which now isn't like optional, but it used to not be optional, which I love. I wish they'd bring it back. I bet a lot of people didn't love it. Um, if you were from my year, you remember. But I was the one who had to do the activity where they told us there was one activity that had you had to wear leggings for. Bro, you were in that one. I was in that <laughs> one. And it basically, we went through the woods with machetes and tore mattresses out of the woods and like bottles. And they told us we had to wear leggings because it was all thorns. Yeah. So, I yeah, I was in that group. Well, some people went to retirement homes and uh, painted fences. What did you do for yours? I, we went to like um, a fifth, like a... Uh, no, a donation center, we just like sorted through clothes, so it was, it was really fun. It's you fun. had a middle ground one. Yeah. Some people literally play checkers with old people, which I would love to Love that. for that for them. But for the Week of Welcome, it can be overwhelming, but with that being said, go to the events. A lot of yeah. my friends that I met on that Friday and that like Saturday, I think it was like around Sunday they did it, they didn't go to the events, and I just felt really bad because I actually had a lot of like fun and I met a lot of friends at it and they had like a block party the block party is really fun go to yeah. it you get so much merch um so a lot of people actually end up regret like regretting it regret because you though. think that you're too cool to go to those things but well I really like them yeah and I feel like some people like they don't go because they're like I want to go out instead but trust me you're gonna have all the time in the world to go out mm -hmm. so you might as well like take this little piece of time and actually like explore this stuff bro like, and go to convocation Oh my gosh, I, it was boring as crap, but it's so cool now I'm about I to graduate. It was fun. Uh, convocation? Okay. Yeah, like with the candle. No, oh. that's the candlelight ceremony. Oh. Convocation is where you go to the Centennial Center and it's like a pre-graduation. Oh no, I thought that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. I like that. I, my, no offense, to my roommate, I loved you, but you didn't go to it, and I didn't have anybody to sit next to. So go to a convocation so you can sit next to your roommate, so you can sit next to somebody and get to know them. Everybody wants to get to know somebody and that was a really fun thing to do and now that I'm graduating it's really cool to see that it went full circle and I'm with yeah. the convocation and now I'm going to graduation. graduation. Yeah. Alright guys, so now we're going to touch a little bit on your first week. So you've moved in. Um, I guess I'll start with basically the first thing that uh, kind of went through my mind. We already touched on it a little bit, but um, missing home. Um, I would say probably the first two weeks of school, I texted my mom about like five times asking if I could move back home. <laughs> That's <laughs> a real one right I was there. just very, very homesick. But uh, really, I promise you, like a lot of people are feeling the same way as you and you will get used to it. Even if it feels like I'm never going to get used to this, like after the first few weeks, you will get used to it and you'll be glad you're there. Another thing I'm going to say is I challenge you to stay for at least like the first two weeks because it can be easy to go home like that first or second weekend but really yes. if you stay that's when you're going to make like a lot of friends because that's when everyone's like meeting everyone so if you can at least stay for that little bit and then go home it tends to help people out in the long run definitely try to stay i knew people who went home in the first two weeks pretty frequently and they missed out on a lot of roommate connections in yeah. that first bit or just asking a person in your class hey do you want to go to blackbird or hey do right. you want to go get like copy this place or go to Duncan or go walk at the Oconee Greenway. Just the just little things. The little things that they if matter. you miss the first two weeks of school, you're missing out on a lot of But like, like if you openness. have to go home obviously. Yeah, go like, home go if you home. have to, but if you have that choice, definitely go out of your comfort zone a little bit and say, yeah. hey, I'm going to go meet this person. Something that's really important to remember is everyone is on the same playing ground. Everyone is super nervous. Everyone wants to make friends. Uh, no one really knows anybody. Like you might have or know people that have a couple high school friends, but besides that, everyone's new. So um, really talk to everyone regardless of who they are. Try not to, um, like try to step out of your comfort zone. Try not to base it, judge anyone based off like, try to go out of your comfort zone maybe with who, who you would normally talk to when you were in high school. Yeah, is this such a unique part of your life? So t don't take that for granted. There's not many parts of your life where every single person is new to the same yeah. place. So 
get out there. And another thing, like, I was really very, very shy in high school. So I was really nervous about coming to college, but you just really got to remember it's a whole new chapter and no one knows you from before. It's true. So you can go in and just honestly recreate yourself <laughs> really? if, you, if that's what you want to uh, nobody that's what knows I you groups will merge so like like lily was saying like your roommate might know people and then they might know people so you'll kind of form groups that way naturally also it's important to remember that friends will change so even if you have your first group of friends that might not always be the same group you have like sophomore junior year but mm -hmm. they're still going to play an important part we were both first year guides this past semester and one of the most popular things that happened your freshman year is probably around September to October, maybe October to November, those three months from September to November, you change friend groups. And it's not like an end all be all, but it's very common that you change friend groups or a friend group falls like apart keep a cult, or yeah. there's a drama that happens because everybody is getting acclimated and comfortable enough with each other. Mm -hmm. So if that happens to you within the first few months, don't let it be like, I'm not going to have any friends. I want to move back home. Just get back out there. You are only in your first semester, and the first semester is the hardest, sem one of the hardest semesters of college, yeah. if not the hardest semester. Once you get through that, you got this. Yes. Another thing, finding your place. Go to the club fairs, like what was that fair called where there's all the clubs you were talking about? Uh, Bobcat Marketplace? Yeah, there's a couple where like they have all the clubs. In the block party? Yeah, go to those because you can literally uh, literally see so many clubs. And that's where you sign up for clubs right. as well. Alright, looks like our <laughs> camera battery got full and then it got really it's dark. Night. <laughs> so it's night now. <laughs> so I think we just left off on finding your place. Just joining clubs, even going to the first club uh, meeting, because a lot of the clubs at Georgia College are very, like, you can just go, and then if you don't want to go back, don't go back. Uh, even a lot of the clubs I joined were pretty, like, low commitment, so you could just go to, like, one meeting, skip a few if you couldn't make it, and then go to the next, so that was really nice. Also, just uh, being open and saying yes. Um, just say yes to more than you normally say yes to, you know, like, obviously don't say yes if you don't want it to, but, like, if someone's like, oh, do you want to go do this or something, you know, just give more things a yes, and you might find yourself, uh, doing some really cool things. Um, and then the last thing we just want to talk about, I know this is only the first week, but when classes do start, I just want to touch on classes a bit, because I know that's, that's what college is about, you know, right? <laughs> um, but... Classes will be very overwhelming at first, at least for, I know for me and Lily, they were, because it's a We're not at first, you got syllabus week. You do have syllabus week, the first week, so that's just basically instructors are going over all the class and stuff, mm -hmm. um, but classes will be overwhelming at first because, it, it, like, people say it is a lot different than high school, but you will get used to it. You'll get used to yeah. not seeing the same people every day, you'll get used to not being let out by a bell. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. weird. <laughs> it's so weird to be that to think that a bell let us out. You'll get used yeah. to be able to walk out of a class if you want if to. If you need to use the bathroom, you, you don't have to ask. Like you'll get used <laughs> to all the things that like make college amazing. Like yeah. being able to have classes every other day, that's so amazing. Nice. It's amazing not seeing the same people every single day. Yeah. Um so yeah, you're gonna love college, I promise you. And, and if you don't, that's okay too. Take advantage of office hours because in college there's office hours where you can go and you can meet with your professor and there are assigned office hours and it can seem daunting at first to go and meet with your professor. There's a frog over there. Oh, she hates me. Mom. <laughs> Back to what we were saying. Um, so yeah, just take advantage of office hours. Take advantage of making relationships with your professor. Uh, and one last tip I have for you guys about classes is don't buy the books beforehand, man. Oh my gosh, don't do not buy do the it. Books. Wait till syllabus week. Wait till they give you their syllabus and say this is what you need. Otherwise, you might end up spending $100 on a book that you don't need. Especially if it's for a math class. You don't yes. like um, ten out ten, Okay, 9 out of 10 times you're going to need the book. But just wait because they give you access codes. They give yeah. you ways to buy it cheaper than the bookstore. Or... Just, or you might find a buddy in your class, which make buddies in case you're not there for a day. You might find a buddy in your class that you're both like, oh, we'll go halves on this book. Yeah. So wait. wait till, Definitely wait for it. Yeah, wait till syllabus week to like Honestly, buy I used to buy my books like two weeks in. And don't buy from the bookstore. Buy from Amazon. Sorry, Georgia College, if you're watching this. But like, and that's just like, you're in like 1102 yeah, and it's and like a little tiny book that's like five bucks. But otherwise, yeah, they have it's like cheaper on Amazon. Stuff. They, oh, but you can rent from the bookstore. You yeah. Can rent. I usually rent. 
So she's a buyer. I'm a renter. I just like to have the physical thing. Um, I like to have a physical thing, but not forever. Yeah. You can take that. You can take that shit back. So college, it definitely seems scary, but it's so much fun. You're gonna have so much fun. Like, get ready. For you meet your lifelong friends. You when, really do. Yeah. And when people, hey, I met her, man. Yeah. When, you we might met, meet your uh, husband slash wife. We met freshman other. year in a world lit class. And we had and no idea. <laughs> we had no idea that we would be engaged. Yeah. So, honestly, it's just just go for it. It's so much it. fun. Um, and when people say they're like college changes your life, it sounds cliche, but it really does. It really does. And one last thing. Also, um, I don't know what dorms you guys are living in, but she lived in um, Foundation two years in a row. Love Foundation. I lived in Adams first year, Foundation the second year. Right, yeah. And yeah. there are dorm tours to all of these on our channel. So if you want to watch any of our dorm tours, go watch them down below. We also have days and weeks in our life, and we're going to be doing that. And, and if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments. We'll, we'll be answering you questions. You can literally DM us on Instagram. Yeah, our also, Instagrams are down there as well. If you see us um, around, you should say hi because, like, we'll be, we want to be, we want to make more friends too. It's never, you mm -hmm. know, so. Let's and go. I have had a few people who have watched our channel come up to us at Bobcat Marketplace. All right, before the sun goes fully down, we'll give you a quick list of clubs that we were in and we loved. We both were in Freshly slash Wesley. Awesome club. Which is awesome. Freshly is the freshman version of Wesley, which Wesley's on Wednesday nights. They're Christian. Uh, yeah, they're Christian, Christian ministry. Sorry for the freaking frogs. frogs. <laughs> um, we both are in Literary Guild. I'm the, on the exec board, so she, she is too. Um, I'm the vice president, and you are the membership coordinator. membership coordinator. If you like food and you like books, you'll love literary. You Guild. will. If you can tell, we're English majors. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And um, she went to Times Talk a few times. You love that. Times Talk. Oh no, it's called the Real Movement. The Real Movement. And that shit was and awesome. Times Talk is great too. Um, and what other clubs do we? We're in Sigma Tau Delta. Which is not a club, that's an honor society. Yeah, but it is, if you ever get a chance, it's really awesome. Yeah, I'm the president of that. And then, oh. If you enjoy uh, writing, you can write for the Peacock Speed oh, Journal, yeah. Literary Magazine. I was on that staff once upon a time. I joined the leadership program. I love being part of the leadership program because there's so many different avenues to do. There's intramurals. I did intramurals for a hot second. Mm -hmm. So go out, well, get out there, get out there. It's just it's great, and uh, we believe in you. Have a great first week, and thanks for watching our and channel. And go Bobcats. And go Bobcats. <laughs> and now we're completely in the dark. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you.